Waves Central is an app that helps you install your Waves products and activate your licenses. With Waves Central, you can install and manage your Waves Creative Access subscription, install live sound applications, move licenses from device to device, and install legacy versions of Waves software. To use any Waves product, you'll need to do two things. Install the product software on your computer and activate the product's license. Let's get started. First, download Wave Central from waves.com slash downloads slash central. When you open Wave Central, you'll see that it now includes a new page, Waves Creative Access. This is where you install and activate your Waves Creative Access subscription licenses. At the bottom, you can also find other installation links, live sound applications, to install Waves live sound applications such as Emotion LV1 and SuperRack, my products to see all your products, whether subscription or non-subscription based, legacy versions for legacy version downloads. If you're not subscribed yet to Waves Creative Access, this is the screen you'll see. Click Get Full Access to start a subscription on our website. Once you're done, you'll see this screen. Click Install and Activate Your Products. This will take you back to the Waves Creative Access page in Wave Central to complete the installation and activation process. Or if you prefer to install at a later time, just launch Wave Central whenever you're ready. Either way, the Waves Creative Access page will look like this. Click Install and Activate. Set your installation preferences and click Continue. Now you're good to go. You're running the latest version of the software and no additional action is needed. Note that when you install Waves plugins this way, you install all the plugins in one single action. If you've started the Waves Ultimate subscription option, which includes all Waves plugins, all the plugins will be fully functional. If you've started the Waves Essential subscription option, which only includes about half of Waves plugins, the plugins included will be fully functional, where the rest of the plugins will run in demo mode, which introduces occasional audio mutes. This way, you can continue to demo plugins that you're not subscribed to without time limitation. And you can also try all the plugin chains in Wave Studioverse without ever opening chains with unavailable plugins. To learn more about demo mode, visit waves.com slash waves creative access FAQ. If you don't have a Waves Creative Access subscription and you aren't ready to start one just yet, you can install all Waves plugins in demo mode by clicking the Install Demo link right here. If you installed Waves Creative Access in demo mode and later decide that you want to start a subscription, repeat the same steps we've already shown. But since the plugins are already installed and now only need to be activated, you'll see the button simply says Activate. Click it and you'll be ready to go with fully functional access to the plugins in your subscription. When new plugins or software updates are available for your Waves Creative Access subscription, this blue Update button will appear on the Waves Creative Access page. Clicking it will display exactly which plugins are being added to your subscription or updated. Click Update again to continue, and you'll be good to go with all your updates and added plugins. Under the Install Products page, you can see all products that are available for installation. You'll mainly use this page to install your non-subscription Waves products, including plugins for which you have perpetual licenses, as well as Waves applications. But you can install any Waves product from this page. For convenience, you can filter products by clicking these tabs. Under the Plugin Subscriptions tab, you'll see only Waves Ultimate. If you're subscribed to Waves Essential, it will be listed here as well. Under the Applications tab, you'll see Waves applications such as Emotion LV1 or SuperRack. Under My Products, you'll see all of your Waves products, whether plugin subscriptions, applications, or plugins for which you have perpetual or non subscription licenses. Note that Waves Creative Access plugin subscription and Waves version 14 plugins are the only plugins you can install online. For older, legacy versions, use the relevant offline installer. For instructions, watch the chapter on legacy versions later in this video. 
To install products from this page, select the products you want to install. If the license is not yet activated, choose a target device for the license, such as a computer or USB device. Click Install and Activate. You can also install plugins without activating. However, they will only be available in your DAW in demo mode. Next, we have the Licenses page. Here, you can activate licenses, move licenses between different computers and devices, and recover licenses. You'll find all your licenses on this page, classified by whether they are activated or not, and to which device. On the Not Activated tab, you'll find all the licenses which are not currently activated to any machine. On the Connected Devices tab, you'll find all the licenses that are activated to the computer you're currently using or to a connected USB device. On the Disconnected Devices tab, you'll find all the licenses that are not activated to your current computer, but rather another device. If you've installed a product but haven't activated it yet, you can do so on this page. Choose a license from the Not Activated tab, select the target device, your current computer, or a connected USB device, and click Activate. Your license is now activated to the device you chose. To move a license between devices, choose a license from the Connected Devices tab and choose the device you want to move it to. Click Activate. Your license has now moved, in this example, from your computer to a USB flash drive. You can also deactivate the license on your current machine and then activate it again later on another computer. If you have a problem with a computer to which a license has been activated, or if you've lost a flash drive that had activated licenses on it, you can use Wave Central to recover your license. Please note that you can only do this through Wave Central once a year. If you need to recover a second time in the same year, please contact Wave's technical support. To recover a lost license, go to the Disconnected Devices tab. Use the arrow on the right to expand the list. Choose the license you want to recover and select the device you want to recover it to. After agreeing to the reminder that you can only do this once a year, click Recover. The recovered licenses are now activated on the device you selected. If you later find the lost or malfunctional device from which the license was recovered from, connect it to your computer and log into Wave Central. The license recovery period will automatically reset for another year. If you own legacy versions of Waves products and need to install the respective legacy software version, follow these steps. In the My Products page, locate your legacy version product. Click on Learn More. This will redirect you to a support page on Waves.com with a download link and instructions on how to install your specific legacy version. Download the relevant Mac or PC installer. Go to the offline installer folder via File Explorer or Finder and double-click install.sin. This will open the installer and Wave Central instantly. Select the plugins or bundles you wish to install from the list and click Install. Your Waves plugins are now installed as legacy versions. If you need to install a legacy version due to operating system compatibility, you can go to Wave Central, Install Products page, and at the bottom, click on Find Legacy Versions. This will direct you to a complete list of legacy installers available on our website. Choose the appropriate legacy version that matches your OS tech specs and use the same method of installation. You can also find this link under Wave Central, Support page, how to download a legacy offline installer. Wave Central lets you know when software updates are available for your perpetual non-subscription plugins and applications as well as your Waves Creative Access plugins. If you go to the Install Products page and see the Updates Available button at the top of the screen, this means there are updates available for your software. In the Wave Central Settings page, you can uninstall Waves as well as set your central preferences. This is where you can change the interface between light and dark modes, set locations for licenses and sample folders, clear cache, and more. Be sure to check Wave Central's dedicated support page, which has links to important articles and information.
Thanks for watching, and remember, you can always consult our support articles on waves.com slash support, or contact us at waves.com slash contact dash us.